When I was a boy, the world was my oyster. I was athletic, driven, girls like me. My possibilities were endless until they weren't. In high school, I suffered a devastating downward spiral. Medically diagnosed with clinical depression, I was on the verge of drowning. This is my story. Dean was a close family friend. I played hockey with his son. He helped my dad build our deck. Hell, he even made my grandpa's dentures. Not with wood. He was a denturist. <laughs> then one day, my teacher sat me down in the library beside two of my best friends and broke the news. Dean was found in his garage, hanging from a rope. This was the first man in my life that would kill himself. All my friends and family seemed to grieve and move on. I didn't. I felt small. Problems that used to feel like only ripples in the water. Peer pressure, deadlines, girls, began to feel like tidal waves. At the time, I'm thinking to myself, how could this happen? I just saw you laughing. I just saw your smile. You looked and sounded fine. And now you're dead. It was as if all of a sudden the sun stopped shining for me. So I started taking a knife to my arm, cutting myself just to feel something. I feel so alone. I start picturing myself taking Dean's place, dangling. On the verge of drowning, my dad stepped in and he showed me that I wasn't alone. I'll always remember that defining day. My alarm went off at seven and I immediately unplugged it. He came in my room like he had every day for months, desperate to get me out of bed and into class. Our struggle lasted over an hour, back and forth and back and forth, until finally he says, I fucking had it, and he leaves. Convinced that I won that round, I rolled over to go back to sleep, and just then he burst back into the room this time carrying a big bucket of water. <laughs> and he pours it all over me. Holy shit! That got me up. And then he looked me in the eyes, and he said something that has stuck with me all these years. He said, son, I can't imagine what you're going through, but I promise to sit here as long as you need. You are not alone. You will never be alone. I am alive today because that man fought for me. And that struggle opened my eyes to the bigger picture that globally, every minute of every day, some man is killing himself. That the state of our men's mental health is a global crisis. Now, it's Dean's memory and the memory of all the men that we've lost that gives me the strength to fight back. And I do. By supporting the movement for youth mental health education, by leading men's circles where we don't need to man up or struggle alone. 
because we give a fuck about each other. And I fight back in the same way that you can by sharing my dad's gift, the gift of a safe space, the gift of a committed listener, the gift of knowing that somebody gives a damn, that you're not alone. Dad, stand up. All I want is to be the man you've been for me, for the men in my life. It's because of you that we all know it only takes one person who cares enough to change the world.